Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little dress for a little girl between six and nine months old. It's very easy to make. To make this little dress, I used light number three baby yarn and a three millimeter crochet hook. Um, now you can also make it smaller for a baby between three and six months or bigger between 12 and 18 months. I'm going to leave you some information down here in the information box on how you can make it smaller or bigger. It's just a matter of changing your hook size, so be sure to check that out. Okay, so I hope you like it, and without further say, let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this light number three baby yarn. To begin, I have 61 chains, and this chain here measures 13 inches, which is about 33 centimeters. The stitch multiple to our base chain is multiples of four plus one. Okay, so to begin on the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next chain and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. Just single crochets on each one of the chains. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have a total of 60 single crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 60 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. The two chains do not count as a stitch. Now here, in this first row, we're going to make three double crochets, one, two, three, and into the next, two double crochets into the same stitch. So beginning here, into this first single crochet, make a double crochet, that's one, two, three. And into the next, two double crochets. One, two. Okay, so let me show you again. This is going to be the repeat sequence for this second row. So make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. Continue like this for this second row. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row. Here at the end, I finished by making these last four double crochets and I have a total of 74 double crochets. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. In this row, we're going to make four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into this next stitch, two double crochets. So let me show you. On top of the first one, make your first double crochet. Remember, the two chains never count as a stitch. Double crochet into the next, that's two, double crochet into the next, that's three, four, and into the next, two double crochets. This is going to be a repeat sequence. You're just going to continue making four double crochets and into the next two double crochets. Make four double crochets and into the next two double crochets. Continue like this for this third row. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 88 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. The two chains never count as a stitch. Now here we're going to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. So let me show you. On top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five double crochets, and into the next two double crochets. This is going to be your repeat se sequence for this fourth row, so continue making five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this row, we're going to have a total of 102 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have a total of 102 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain two and turn. The two chains never count as a stitch. In this row, we're going to make six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. So let me show you. On top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets and into the next two double crochets. One and two. 
This is how you're going to continue for this fifth row. You're going to repeat um, the same thing. Make six double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this fifth row, you're going to have a total of 116 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 116 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, chain four, turn. Here we're going to skip one, two, and into the third double crochet, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip one, two, and into the third double crochet, make a V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Again, skip one, two, and into the third double crochet, make a V stitch of double crochet, chain one, double crochet. This is all we're going to do for this sixth row, so continue like this, just skipping two double crochets and into the next a V stitch. I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have a total of 38 V stitches up to here. Now to finish, we're going to make a double crochet here at the end. And this is how we finish this sixth row. Now for the seventh row, chain three, turn. Inside each one of the V stitches, you're going to make two double crochets, one, two, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, here's the first one. Jump to the next V stitch and do the exact same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this for this seventh row. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this seventh row. Now to finish, we're going to pinch here the third chain and make a double crochet here at the end. And this is how I finish the seventh row. Now for the eighth row, we're going to chain one and turn. On top of this first double crochet, make a single crochet, chain two. Inside this first fan, right here where we have the chain, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet. Two chains between the fans, right in the middle, make a single crochet, two chains inside this next fan, single crochet, three chains, single crochet into the same stitch, Again, chain two between the fans right in the middle, single crochet, two chains, single crochet inside the next fan, three chains, single crochet. This is all I'm going to do for this row and this is what it looks like. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row here. I did my last two chains and then pinched the last chain and made a single crochet here at the end. I cut my yarn and then passed my yarn through that last loop and this is how I finish this row here. Now for the next row, we're going to make one more row in the same way, but I'm going to change color. So that's why I cut my yarn. So I have this red color here, grab this loop, bring it through the front. This is right on top of the last single crochet that I did. Chain one, turn and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now chain two, and inside this chain two space here, make a single crochet, chain two, and inside the chain three space, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet, chain two, we have two chain two spaces here. Inside this first chain two space, make a single crochet, chain two, single crochet inside the next chain two space, chain two, single crochet inside the chain three space, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet. This is how we're going to work this part here. So let me show you again. Chain two, we have two chain two spaces. Inside the first chain two space, make a single crochet, chain two, 
inside the next chain 2 space make a single crochet chain 2 inside the chain 3 space make single crochet chain 3 single crochet this is all we're going to do for this row so continue like this I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this last row here I chained two and then I did a single crochet on top of this last single crochet here then cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop so this part here is done this here is the right side and this is the wrong side so now here we're going to go under this stitch here or this space right there and we're going to grab this loop this is going to be the first row here we're going to start counting rows so here grab a loop and chain three one two three now in this row what we're going to do is right here we have the v-stitch so inside we're going to make two double crochets between the v-stitches two double crochets and then again two double crochets two double crochets two double crochets so let me show you here I chain three so we have the first v-stitch you're just going to move these four double crochets two on each side and make two double crochets one two then we have the space between the two v-stitches two double crochets then we have the v-stitch again two double crochets and then we have the space between the v-stitches two double crochets this is all I'm going to do for this first row and this is what it looks like see right there and this is what it looks like here and here continue like this for this first row I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this first row now to finish we're going to make one last double crochet right here at the very end so just insert your hook right there and make your last double crochet and this is how we finish this first row with a total of 152 double crochets now what we're going to do is we're going to work single crochets along this part here and we're also going to make our buttonholes so to do this I'm going to let go of this loop insert my hook here where I have this single crochet at the very end grab this loop bring it through the front chain one and here into this space here I'm going to work two single crochets one two then two single crochets here two single crochets here and so on here we're just going to work two single crochets on each one of these stitches along the very edge at the end I'm going to have a total of 14 single crochets okay now here we have the row of single crochets make one single crochet there and then the row of chains make one single crochet so let me count them for you I have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen single crochets now chain one turn into this first single crochet make a single crochet chain one skip one single crochet and into the next make a single crochet here's my first buttonhole now I'm going to be the using very tiny um, buttons so one chain is more than enough for the buttons that I'm going to use if you're going to use um, bigger buttons then uh, make sure that one chain is enough if not then chain two and then skip two single crochets okay so here I'm going to continue making single crochets I already have one there and there's two three four five six seven eight nine single crochets chain one skip one single crochet and into the next make a single crochet single crochet into the next and I need to make one more here at the end so that I have 14 okay here's the last one now chain one and turn and then go back and make single crochets same thing 14 single crochets once we're done with this part here and now into this chain one space make one single crochet and then continue to the top
Okay, I'm here at the end. I've cut my yarn, so just pass your yarn through this last stitch and this part here is done. Now we're going to do the exact same thing here on this other side, except that here we're not going to make any buttonholes. So here, insert your hook through this double crochet and into this single crochet here. That's part of this fan. Grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and then make two single crochets on this stitch here. One, two, and then two single crochets, two single crochets, Okay, and then we have the row of single crochets, make one there, and then in the row of chains, make one single crochet. So I should have 14, let's see. I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 single crochets. Now chain one, turn, and then go back down making single crochets, then come back up again, chain one here at the end, and then come back up here. So I'll meet you here at the end of the third row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making my third row here at the end. All I did was cut my yarn and then pass my yarn here through this last single crochet and this part here is done. This is the side that we did not do the uh, buttonholes and this is the side where we did the buttonholes. So it's going to go on top like this. We're going to join now. So put both sides together like this, turn. Now insert your hook into this first row of single crochets on this side and through the third row of single crochets on this other side. Grab a loop, bring it through the front, and chain two. One, two. Now go back into the same stitches here and make one double crochet. The two chains do not count as a stitch. Okay, here's the first double crochet. Now insert your hook into the second row on this side and into the second row on this side and make a double crochet. One more time. Insert your hook through the third row on this side and through the first row on this side and make a double crochet. Now we're going to make one more double crochet so insert your hook here into this double crochet. See this is where we did the two single crochets. That was at the very end. That was that double crochet at the very end. So make one double crochet there. And then here we're going to make double crochets on each one of these double crochets all around, just like this. Okay, so continue like this all around, just making double crochets. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. Up to here, I have 155 double crochets. Now we're going to make one more double crochet here at the end, so that in total, I finish with 156 double crochets. Now to finish, we're going to go to the top of the first double crochet and make a slip stitch. Now make one more slip stitch into the next double crochet. This is so that when we finish each row, we finish right in the very middle um, of our dress, just like this. Now in the next row, row three, we're going to divide our sleeves. So we have a total of 156 double crochets all around. So beginning here where I did this slip stitch, up to here where I have the first stitch marker, I have 18 double crochets. Between this stitch marker and this stitch marker here, I have 39 double crochets. This is going to be one of the sleeves. Between this stitch marker and this stitch marker, I have 39 double crochets. This is the front. Between this stitch marker and this stitch marker, I have 39 double crochets. This is the other sleeve. And between this stitch marker and this stitch before the first double crochet that we're going to make, we're going to have a total of 21 double crochets. So for the back part, 
between the two between the stitch markers once we're done I'm going to have 39 double crochets and here in the front 39 double crochets okay so here we're going to continue now with the third row so here chain two and into the same stitch here make one double crochet one double crochet into the next double crochet into the next and so on continue like this making these double crochets you're going to make 18 I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay finish making these 18 double crochets now here chain 4 skip 39 double crochets and into this 40th double crochet which is the one after the stitch marker make your first double crochet for the front side right there now we're going to continue making these double crochets until you have a total of 39 double crochets. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to divide the other sleeve. Okay, I finished making these 39 double crochets. Now we're going to chain four, skip 39 double crochets and into this 40th double crochet, which is this one after the stitch marker. Right there, make your first double crochet for this part here. Now here, continue making these 21 double crochets and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row and I have a total of 78 double crochets. Now to finish, go to the top of the first double crochet and make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this third row. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain three and into the same stitch here, we're going to make a double crochet. Now we're going to skip one double crochet and into the next make a v-stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip one double crochet and into the next make a v-stitch. This is how I'm going to continue until I come um, to the four chains that we have here. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. So remember, you're going to skip one double crochet and into the next a v-stitch. Okay, I did nine V stitches. Now in this case here, the three chains do count as a stitch here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine V stitches. Now here we're going to skip this double crochet and into the first chain here, you're going to make a V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, skip one chain and into the next, make a V stitch double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the last chain and into the first double crochet for this side, make your V-stitch. And now here I'm just going to continue with the same sequence, skipping one double crochet and into the next making a double crochet, chain one, double crochet continue like this making these v-stitches I will meet you here on this other side to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at this other end so now here and my last v-stitch was here um, on top of this last double crochet so here I'm going to skip one and into the next I'm going to make a double crochet chain one double crochet skip one chain and into the last chain here make your v-stitch now skip one double crochet and into the next make a v-stitch now from here on we're just going to continue in the same way we did um, skipping one double crochet and into the next a v-stitch continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 43 V-stitches. Now, to finish, we're going to pinch the second chain here and make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this fifth row. Now, for the sixth row, insert your hook into this first V-stitch and make a slip stitch. Now, chain three and into the same stitch here, make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. And this is the first fan to this sixth row. Now, inside each one of the V stitches, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to go in and make two double crochets, one, two, one chain, two double crochets. 
continue like this for this sixth row. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have a total of 43 fans. Now to finish, we're going to go here between the double crochet and the three chains and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this sixth row. Now for the seventh row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now for the seventh row, we have the first fan and we have four double crochets. Now the first double crochet of this first fan, we're going to work a front post double crochet. Inside the chain one space, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And the last double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Let me show you again. We have the next fan, so the first double crochet, we're going to work a front post double crochet. Inside the chain one space, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet and the last double crochet, front post, double crochet. Let me show you again. First double crochet of the fan, make a front post double crochet, inside the chain one space, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and the last double crochet, make a front post double crochet. This is all we're going to do, and this is what it looks like from this side. Continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this seventh row. Now to finish, we have a chain here to the side. Insert your hook there and make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this row. Now for the next row, we're going to do the fan. So turn, don't chain or anything. And with the yarn in front, what you're going to do here is we're going to work three slip stitches. The first one is on top of the first double crochet the next one into the second double crochet, and the third inside the chain one space, like this. Now chain three, and into the same stitch here, we're going to make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. And here's the first fan to this row. Now jump to the next fan, and inside the chain one space, make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Same thing for the next one, inside the chain one space here, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. This is all I'm going to do for this row, so continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of fans now. To finish, we're going to go between the double crochet and the three chains and make a slip stitch. And this is how we're going to finish this row. Now for the next row, the row where we do the front post, double crochets, chain one and turn. This first double crochet for this first fan, we're going to work a front post double crochet. Inside the chain one space, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and the last double crochet, front post double crochet. Again, front post double crochet into the first double crochet of this fan, double crochet inside the chain one space, chain one, double crochet, and this last double crochet, front post double crochet. This is all I'm going to do. You're just going to repeat these two rows. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but I'll let you know here how many rows. So continue like this, repeating the two rows, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making 20 rows. Um, this is row 20, so I did 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 rows, okay, of um, this fan stitch. Now, it's measuring from the first row here where we did the V stitches. Let's see. It measures, it's about, let's see, 22 and a half centimeters, which is um, about 9 inches. If you want to make this longer, you can. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Here, what we're going to do is, I finish making the 20th row, I join with a slip stitch. So here, I'm going to chain one. Okay, so we're going to chain one. I think I already did, let's see. Yep, I had already chained one. So chain one, turn, and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now, 
chain two inside this fan or inside these V stitches right there make a single crochet three chains single crochet two chains between each fan right there make a single crochet two chains inside the next V stitch or the next fan single crochet three chains single crochets this is all we're going to do for this row again two chains one two between the fans right there single crochet two chains single crochet inside this chain one space three chains single crochet continue like this for this row I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end of this row here. I chain two and then into the first single crochet right here. I did a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then pass my yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this like this. So this is the wrong side. Insert your hook into this same single crochet where we did the slip stitch right there. Grab a loop. I'm going to use this red color here bring it through the front chain one and into the same stitch here make a single crochet now chain two into this chain two space that's right here the first chain two space make a single crochet two chains inside the three chains here make a single crochet three chains single crochet into the same stitch now chain two we have these two chain two spaces into the first insert your hook make a single crochet chain two into the next single crochet chain two and then we have the three chains make a single crochet three chains single crochet this is all we're going to do for this row. There it is. So continue like this. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this row in this color red here. I did two chains and then joined to this first single crochet with a slip stitch. Cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop. Now I'm going to make one more row. As it is, you can leave it like this. It looks very pretty. I'm going to do one row in this color white. So to do that, I'm going to insert my hook here into this same single crochet. This is where we did the slip stitch to finish the, the row that we just did. So grab a loop, chain one, and into the same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now chain two. Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the chain three space and make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet. Again, chain two, skip this chain two space and into the next one, make a single crochet, chain two, Skip this chain two space and inside the chain three space make a single crochet three chains single crochet Chain two skip this chain two space and into the next make a single crochet Chain two and inside the chain three space make a single crochet three chains single crochet this is all we're going to do for this row scene. That's what it looks like. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. I did two chains here and then joined to the beginning where we have the first single crochet with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. And this is what I, it looks like. I think it's beautiful. Now I may do that same thing here. Um, a row in this color white around the yoke. I'm not sure. We'll see how um, everything turns out. So now here, what we're going to do is around the neckline. Um, I think it's it's a tad um, too big, but if you feel like you don't need to make any reductions, then just do single crochets all around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a row of single crochets all around with this color white. 
So here I'm going to insert my hook into this stitch. This is the back, so on the right side. So grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and into the same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now we're going to make a total of 10 single crochets. So I have one into the next, make a single crochet that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And into the next two, we're going to work a stitch reduction. So insert your hook, grab a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, three loops, close. Here's our first stitch reduction. Now again, I'm going to make 10 single crochets. One, two, three, and so on. Just continue until you have 10 single crochets and then do the same thing I just did here, a stitch reduction. Continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. Here's my last um, stitch reduction and then I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets here at the end. Then I just cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop and this part here is done. So I'm going to insert my hook here into this last single crochet, grab this loop in this color red, bring it through the front and chain one. Now here we're going to make um, a row with the crab stitch, but first here, chain one. Now the crab stitch is worked where we go back without turning um, and inserting the hook into each one of these single crochets. So here I'm going to go into this single crochet, grab a loop, and make a single crochet. See, now insert your hook into the next single crochet grab a loop and make a single crochet. Same thing, go back, grab a loop, single crochet. Like this. And this creates a beautiful trim around the neckline. Okay, so continue like this. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this row of the crab stitch. Now here, instead of finishing here at the very end, I decided to just continue along this side here. Um, I cut my yarn and then just passed my yarn through that last loop. Now I'm just going to pass my yarn through the inside here and hide my end. So this part here is done and this is what it looks like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on one of the sleeves. So here on the right side, I'm going to insert my hook right here. Here we have one, two, three V stitches. So right in the middle of this second one, insert your hook right there. I'm going to use this white color, so grab a loop, bring it through the front, and chain two, and into this same stitch here, make a double crochet. The two chains do not count as a stitch. Now here, we're going to work double crochets all around, but first we're going to work two stitch reductions. So yarn over, insert your hook into this next space, grab a loop, take two loops off. Yarn over, skip this V-stitch and into this space here, insert your hook, grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. Here's our first stitch reduction, which counts as one double crochet. Now, yarn over again, we have this double crochet here, insert your hook there, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, and insert your hook into this stitch here, this space. Grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And here's our two stitch reductions, one and two. Now here, all we're going to do is just work double crochets all around the sleeve, just like this. Continue like this, and I'll meet you here on this other side to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I'm here at this other side. Up to here, I have 43 double crochets. So here I'm going to work two stitch reductions just like we did at the beginning. So yarn over, insert your hook here into this stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off. Yarn over, insert your hook here where we have this double crochet, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Here's one, I need to make one more. So yarn over, insert your hook into this stitch here, grab a loop, take two loops off. Yarn over, skip this V stitch and into the next space here, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now to finish, go to the top of the first double crochet and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the first row with a total of 45 double crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and into the same stitch here, we're going to make a double crochet. Now here, we're going to work two stitch reductions at the beginning and at the end. So to do this, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And now here I'm just going to continue all around, just making double crochets. So continue like this and I'll meet you here right before we finish to show you how we're going to finish this second row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. Up to here I have 39 double crochets. Remember that these stitch reductions count as one double crochet only. So now here, I still have four more stitches, so we're going to reduce two more. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now again, yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now to finish, we go to the top of the first double crochet and make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the second row with a total of 41 double crochets. Now for the third row, I'm going to work a stitch reduction at the beginning and at the end. So to do that, we're going to chain two and into the same stitch here, make a double crochet. Now yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now here we're just going to continue all around, just working double crochets. So continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end of this third row to show you how we're going to finish this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. Up to here I have 38 double crochets and I still have two more double crochets here. So I'm going to reduce one more. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now to finish this row and all the rows to follow, you're going to go to the top of the first double crochet and make a slip stitch. And this is how you're going to finish this third row and all the rows that follow. Now from here on, we're not going to make any more reductions. Um, this is all the reductions that I'm going to make. For the fourth row and all the rows that follow, you're just going to do two chains and into the same stitch here, you're going to make a double crochet. Here, all you're going to do for this row and all the rows that follow are double crochets all around. At the end of every row from here on, you're always going to have 39 double crochets. Remember that two chains never count as a stitch. So continue like this all around. When you're done with this row, you're going to join to the beginning here where we have the first double crochet with a slip stitch, chain two, and then start the row in the exact same way I just did here. So continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 15th row, so in total I did 15 rows here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work front post and back post double crochets. Um, if you have a hard time making front post and back post double crochets, then just do single crochets all around for about, I don't know, four or five rows. Okay, so here to do that, we're going to chain one, and this first double crochet that's here, I'm going to work into a front post double crochet. The next one, back post, double crochet, Next one, front post, double crochet, back post, double crochet, and so on. So just continue like this for this row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this row of front post and back post double crochets. Here I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch. 
cut my yarn and then just pass my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is done in this color. Now we're going to do two more rows, but I'm going to use this color red. So insert your hook back into the same stitch where you did the slip stitch, grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and these double crochets here, we're going to work them in the same way. So the first one is a front post double crochet. So we're going to work a front post double crochet. The next one, back post double crochet, next one front post, double crochet, and so on. Here this is all we're going to do, so continue like this. I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row. Now to finish, we're going to go here to the side where we have this chain and make a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this row. Now we're going to make two more rows in the same way, but we're going to make um, half double crochets. So to begin, we're going to yarn over. This first stitch here is a front post double crochet, so we're going to make a front post half double crochet. The next one is a back post double crochet, so make a back post half double crochet. Okay, just like this. So front post, back post, half double crochets. When you finish this row, you're going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch, chain one, and then continue one more time around making half double crochets. Front post and back post half double crochets. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this last row here. I just joined it to the beginning with a slip stitch and then just passed my yarn through that last loop and this leaf here is done. Now, we're going to do the exact same thing I just did here. For this leaf, we're going to do it here on the other one. So um, it's exactly the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the sleeves and this is what they look like. So my baby dress is technically done. One thing I wanted to show you is what I did here around the yoke and here um, in the skirt. So what I did here is I made a chain using two strands of yarn. Um, this is about 250 chains. It's a pretty long chain and what I did is I weaved it here into this row of uh, fans. See? this last row that we did. And how I did this is, let me show you. Here, I started here, I inserted um, my yarn right here. This is the beginning, so through there. And what I did is I skipped the double crochets in between and into the V-stitch right here. That's where I inserted my hook or the needle. And this is how I did it. First, I went through this first double crochet but made sure to leave that one stitch back there. And then through the other double crochet, same thing, so that when I weave my yarn, it leaves the two stitches there. So I just pulled it through like this. And then again, I skipped the two double crochets and then I went through the V stitch, see? But only went through the stitches on top and left one little strand on each one of the double crochets right there. And then I just pulled my needle out like this. And now to finish, all you're going to do here is go through the stitch here where you started. This is the beginning right there and pull it through the inside. Now we're going to have chains here, so you're going to have to undo uh, many of these chains like this and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tie a knot between these two here at the end so that it doesn't come undone and this part here is done and this is what it looks like from the inside see you can see the little stitches there that way it doesn't move or anything one thing before you tie this knot here make sure you that you pull on it so that it looks even all over okay so this part here is done here's the back of the little dress I already added my buttons and that's what it looks like I did the exact same thing here for the um, for this row of V stitches that we did I mean this is optional but I just wanted to show you how I did it it's exactly the same way here I just need to undo a lot of these chains and then just somehow um, tie a little knot here at um, at the end on each side my baby dress is done another thing that you could do is maybe put a little bow like this right in the center like this I'm not sure what I'm going to do but I, I think it looks just as pretty without so there it is 
Okay, so now the measurements. Um, from the top of the neckline down to the sleeve, it measures 27 centimeters, which is about 11 inches. Um, from under the sleeve up to the end of the sleeve, it measures 18 centimeters, which is about seven inches. And from the top of the neckline down to the bottom, here it measures 37 centimeters, which is about 14 and a half inches. And it's got a circumference of about, let's see, 47 centimeters, which is about 18 and a half inches. So based on those measurements, um, this little dress is for a baby between six and nine months. And I used about 197 grams of yarn. So I used mostly white um, and then a little bit of the red. Okay, so our baby dress is done. So this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.